Morning, everyone. I think we might have one more person join us. So hang tight, guys. There we go. All right, good morning, everyone. If I could everyone turn on their cameras, please. I just wanna make sure everybody's paying attention and looking at me and is actually there. All right. So um, yesterday you had some proofs to do in Delta Math, and I know everybody loved every minute of it. I heard wonderful things all day long. Um, okay, so I know it was rough, okay? So first of all, understand, even if we're in person, proofs are not the most exciting thing for anyone, okay? Um, and there's a bit of a learning curve with proofs. But what I wanna do today, we're not gonna move forward today. I wanna highlight a couple of things, and I'm gonna have you revisit what you did yesterday and the day before. Because remember how I said I was gonna grade those proofs and then give you feedback? Um, it took me like 10 minutes to do three because they were all over the place. And um, I started like leafing through some then and they were just a mess. So I felt like we just really needed to regroup, especially after yesterday, okay? So we're not gonna move on today. So nobody panic about falling behind and you don't have everything done, it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen with you. I posted to Google Classroom. Oops. Ah, oh, get out of the way. Okay, here we go. I posted to Google Classroom um, a resource for you that I, I made up to kind of help with proofs, okay? Now, part of this we have not done yet, okay? So there's something called CPCTC that we have not done yet, and that's okay, just, just ignore it for right now, okay? The, um, the top part of this is what we're really interested in. This is what we're doing. When, so I kind of made a checklist for you in terms of what you need to have in order to be done with that proof. Okay, first thing, you have to have three congruency statements. Okay, like I literally need to see in your reasons, you have to have three of those congruency markings. Okay, so if you have a proof and you think you're done, you go through and literally count. Do I have one, two, three of them? Now the exception is if you're doing hypotenuse leg. 
right? If you're doing hypotenuse leg, you only have to have two because you're gonna say in there that you either have right triangles or right angles. Okay, so your two congruencies, one for your leg and one for your hypotenuse. If you don't have three congruency statements or two down here, look for these items. Look for your givens. Givens you seem to be pretty good at. Look for your vertical angle theorems. Look for your alternate interior angles if you have parallel lines. Look to see if they share a side or an angle, okay? You also have, we have bisects, midpoint, right angle. You, we haven't done a whole lot of right triangle yet and perpendicular. Okay, so those are things that you can look for in order to get these congruency statements. The very last step in your proof should be one of these. Okay, so this right here is your last step. You cannot say that triangles are congruent unless you have three of these congruency statements. So even if you can't get anything in the middle, this should be your last step. Okay, does that make sense? So what I was seeing a lot of in that drag and drop proof on Google Slides is only two congruency statements. That was a big problem. And the fact that this was not your last step. So what I want you to do today is I want you to go back. I returned all of those proofs to you. I know some of you turned it in. I returned them all to you a few minutes ago right? I want you to go back in and look at those. I want, literally want you to open up, count, do I have three congruency statements? Is my triangle congruent to my triangle the last thing? Go through each one of those and verify that. I know a couple of you sent it right back to me again. Still go back in and look at that, okay? And if you need to fix it, then fix it. If you didn't get your delta math done, I try that again. I'm going to be here the whole time. So if you want to jump off and work on those so your internet works better, that's great, but if you get stuck, jump right back on. I'll do your delta math with you. Okay, that way we can verbalize and talk things through. Unfortunately, the only way to get better at these proofs is to do them. I, 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 there's not a whole lot more I can tell you in terms of explaining things. It's a lot of just practice. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Can I get a nod if you're okay? All right. Um, so I'm going to turn you loose. I want you to revisit those five proofs from the other day, resubmit it when you're done. Okay. Then look at your Delta math. And if you think you're golden on everything, maybe try one more Delta math to make sure you're okay. Does that make sense? Okay. So go ahead and do what you want to do, whether it's getting off or staying on, I will be here the whole period. So if you're stuck, I want you to jump back on right away. Okay. Is that a good deal? All right, I will be here. Ms. Sewing, I have a question. Yes. So when we're looking for the three um, congruency statements, does that include your given? Yes. Yep, those count towards your three. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. And I'll yes. go to math yesterday. Um, I really couldn't figure out the ones that weren't like your example that you gave. I'd like if that makes sense, like the practice when you like showed us with your video, uh -huh. like if it wasn't like that. I felt like I couldn't understand it. Like it was just like confusing to me. Did you get your five done? Yeah, I did, but. I'll tell you what, can you, can you pull up Delta math and then you know how you can click like next problem, next problem or new problem. Mm -hmm. Can you find one that you felt like you would get stuck on? Can you find one that you Okay. And then maybe I can help you with that. And then maybe I can help you with that. I'm gonna, um, I made it so you can share your screen whenever you're ready, okay? Share my screen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if you float your mouse down towards the bottom, there should be a green button that says share screen. And then I can see your Delta math. Um, do I hit desktop or application? It doesn't really matter. Okay.
can does, is it working it's loading right now okay all right give me one second here Rebecca, you need to look at day three. Because I sent that one back to you. It's assignment number 51, if that helps. Okay, thank you. I couldn't find it. You couldn't find 51? No, and normally it like gives me a notification, but I never got a notification. I can just go back and find it. Okay. All right. Okay, so Michaela, we have our givens. Okay. Um, I understood these ones. Okay. Do you want to find a different one? Yeah. Maybe okay. I'll like try to like. Maybe I'll just keep trying to go back into it. Um, Mr. Lingus, maybe yes. let me do it. On um, my um, I checked over the Google Slides one, and I mean, I felt like I had all my specific parts that I needed that we went okay. over. Do you think I should practice more on Delta Math? It's up to you. I I honestly don't know if I looked at yours or not. I was like really like leafing through a whole bunch. Um, <laughs> okay. But I just want people, I was just encountering so many that didn't even have three congruency statements and the triangle part wasn't at the bottom that I, I was just like, okay, we just need to revisit all together. So if you think you're good, resubmit it. And if you feel like you need more practice in Delta math, then do it. If not, then that's okay too. Okay. Sounds okay. Good. All right. Thank Wait, you. Yep. I guess after this next um, part, if you still see it. Yep, um, I can still see it. Like what sh what would be your next thing to look at? I guess I need to like work on like the things I don't like know what to look for right away. Okay, so we haven't done it. You're right on what you have. That's perfect. Okay, um, and they've marked our one given for us, but we need we haven't done anything with that. AC is perpendicular to BD. So what does it mean to be perpendicular? Um, doesn't it mean that it creates a right angle? Good. So we need to talk about those right angles. So uh, we need to say, yep. Um, do I do BDA? Yes. And then I would do the other one as well. Yes. So your reason there is probably going to be like a definition. Um, perpendicular lines form right angles. Oh, there that it is. first one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then you would do BDC. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. Oh, you did BDA again. Oh. There you go. Okay, so right angles, you should be having warning bells going off, right? So yeah. You have the potential to use hypotenuse leg there. So is this where I put my Yep. Thing? You got it. Yep. And then it's just the hypotenuse leg. You got it. Says so you haven't proven them? Yeah, that's what it would do yesterday. So oh. I was used about all right so we need to say we have right triangles is what it's making us do all right so classify a triangle so wait. go down two more there you go so name your first triangle so bda sure yep okay some some books make you do that some books don't it, it's that's one of the this is one of those weird things about proofs some people say you only have to have a right angle so it's just kind of an oddball thing oh you already did bda yeah you go. i don't know why i keep doing that's all right okay i wonder i guess i can't remember if i ended up solving a question like this yesterday or if i ended up like getting it wrong so like took me to another one gotcha. but I feel like I remember completing one like this and I didn't use hypotenuse leg like I found a different way but that's possible that is possible because sometimes depending on which givens they give you 
you may have done like where the angles then are congruent and then said like side angle side or something like that. So that's possible. You could do perpendicular, get right angles and not have hypotenuse leg. Yeah, I think I tried. To, I know I definitely tried to do hypotenuse leg and it didn't work and I was really confused why, but I understand. Okay. And then that popped up and then I was confused because I was like, I did proof that it's right. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I didn't see one like this yesterday. So these are called overlapping triangles because one overlaps the other. Okay. So you're going to be doing like that. I bet it's triangle AEB. Can you scroll up a little bit? Yeah. Yep. So A B and A C D. So what's going to happen there is they end up sharing angle A. Okay. So that ends up being a reflexive property for an angle. And then you end up with angle side angle. How is it the reflexive property? Sorry. That's okay. So do you notice, um, let me see. I don't think I can mark on your screen. Okay. So follow triangle ABE and then ACD. Notice how they both share angle A. Mm -hmm. So the one before the two triangles shared a side. And so you said that side was congruent to itself by reflexive property. Yeah. Well, this time they're sharing an angle. So, so the they, angle is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I think, yeah, I, I feel like that kind of cleared up some of my confusion, like how to like walk through the steps. Okay. Okay. I think that definitely helped a lot. Okay, good. Okay, but I have everything done and I checked my assignment and it looked fine. Okay, awesome. I'll take a look at it tonight then. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thanks.